friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a pretty fun video for you. I asked over on my Instagram, also on my Facebook group, some assumptions about me, things that you guys assume about me, good, bad, ugly, bring it on. I got a ton, and I mean a ton of assumptions. So I'm going to go through these rather quickly just because this video would be over an hour long if I answered every single one of these assumptions in depth, but I am going to go over all of them and answer all of your assumptions about me. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. It lets me know to keep putting out this type of content. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload five to six times a week, so you don't want to miss out. I just launched my 2021 custom calendar, and I'm so incredibly excited about this. It is not too late to get one of your own for the new year. We're just a few days in, so go ahead and grab yourself a calendar over on my nutrition coaching website. I'll link that down below for you. You'll also find personalized macro and calorie calculation, which is really, really important moving into the new year, just kind of knowing where you should fall calorie and macro wise. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So if you need a little one-on-one -on -one help, I am definitely here to support you. So head on over, check out the calendar and the nutrition coaching. Down in the description box, you're going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. That's where you're going to get the most up-to-date information and news. I'm on there pretty regularly, and that's actually where I posted this assumption question. So, without further ado, we have a lot of assumptions to go through, so let's get started. My phone which is where I've screenshotted all of the assumptions assumption number one is you want more dogs absolutely I do I have been trying to convince Troy for a year probably to get a third dog but I think we've decided that once diesel gets older we want to get another dog so that when he does pass away which I can't even think about but when he does we have another dog here for a companion for Lola because she is a couple years younger than Diesel so I would love another dog now but it sounds like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer assumption number two is you're always sweet and nice to everyone I would say that this is true I try to be a really good human being a solid human being I try to treat others with respect and always be nice and go out of my way to say please or thank you so I would say that this is true the next assumption is your love of real estate came from wanting to go look at houses whether you were in the market or not this is actually not true the only time i've ever looked at houses or done research online is when i'm in the market to buy a house I went into real estate because it was something that fueled my entrepreneurial spirit. I wanted to be my own boss and kind of do my own thing. And I also wanted to be able to interact with people, develop relationships and build a business that's lucrative. So that's actually why I chose to go into real estate. You seem to be really optimistic, more of the glasses half full rather than the glasses half empty. This is absolutely true. Ever since I was a child, I've always been positive. I've always tried to look at the good in life, even when really nothing in life is going good. And this has happened, of course, throughout my life. I always try to put a positive spin on it. I find that I just feel better in my heart and my soul when I'm looking into the positive. I assume that you are fearless and you love challenges. I would say that this is true as well. I, I'm definitely... I don't live my life in fear. I live my life to live the best life that I can because we only get one life and I wanna be able to make the one that I'm living the best that it possibly can. And I'm always up for a challenge. I am very driven and dedicated and when I set my mind to something, nothing can stop me. Ask my mom. She said I've been this way my entire life. You're a perfectionist and probably harder on yourself than you should be. I would say that I'm not a perfectionist, I'm very type A. I like things in their place. I'm very organized, mindful. I love to make lists. I am pretty hard on myself. So that half of the assumption is correct. I'm a lot harder on myself than I would be on you. I assume you're always happy and positive. This is true. I'm most of the time very happy. And like I said, I always try to put a positive spin on things. I assume you love 80s or 90s music while working out. 
If I didn't go to Jazzercise, where the music was pre-done for me, they already have obviously the moves and things done to music. Generally, when I would work out at the gym, whether that was on a treadmill or lifting weights, actually listen to rap music or 90s, so it's partially correct. I assume you like to get your cards read. I've actually never had my cards read. I'm scared, you guys. I don't wanna know what the cards say, whether they're true or not. I have actually never had my cards read, but I'm not opposed to it. I assume you never sleep. I actually got this quite a bit. I think it's because I pack so much into my day, whether it's on my channel or real estate or coaching. I do sleep. I actually am much like a grandma when it comes to sleeping. I go to bed very early, between 8 and 9 p.m., and then I'm up between 4 and 5 a.m. I love mornings, so I do get sleep. I'm just very type A, like I said, so I can get a lot done in a day. I tend to use my time very wisely, and I always say I can get more done in a day than my husband can get done in an entire week. I assume you're very tech savvy. I would say that this is 50-50. I am not tech savvy per se, but I can learn rather quickly. And then once I learn or get a new item, like my brand new iPhone here, I'm all about learning all of the features and trying to use it the most effectively. But there's always a learning curve for me when it comes to tech. I'm not just somebody that can pick up a new device and know how to use it. I assume you're a very hard worker who loves to help others. Yes and yes. I do think that I'm a hard worker. I work a lot. I work all day every day, but I enjoy it. And the thing about it is if you find a work that you love and enjoy, it doesn't really feel like work. And I assume you love to help others is true. That's why I had a career in human resources because it's all about helping and supporting the employee. And that's why I have YouTube because it's all about helping and supporting you guys. I assume you have a touch of ADHD and need to keep moving. This is actually pretty funny because I always tell my husband that he has ADD or ADHD. I would say this is not true. I don't feel like I squirrel a lot. I feel like I'm very organized and mindful of what I'm doing and I have a schedule and a routine and a list. You always need to keep doing something. I'm not somebody that likes to just sit down and watch TV. I find myself on my phone or doing other things when I'm watching TV or when I'm supposed to be relaxing. I assume you wake up every morning looking this beautiful well thank you not true at all you guys have seen me without makeup in my videos it's not a pretty sight I assume you're a very thoughtful friend 100% I have always been told that I'm a very good friend I put my friends my family and others first it's just something that's been ingrained in me since a child so I feel like when I'm in a relationship or in a friendship it's valued to me so I always try to give more than I receive you're the most energetic person I've ever seen please share what vitamins you take well thank you I do feel like I have a lot of energy but let me tell you there are days that I don't get out of bed that I just want to lay there and scroll on my phone I will say that I will bring my laptop in there with me. I'm always busy. I'm always busy doing something, but there's some days that I'm less productive. As far as vitamins go, honestly, I don't take a lot. I take a gummy multivitamin from Costco. That's pretty much it. I assume that you are an extrovert with a big heart and many friends. So part of this is true. I'm definitely an extrovert. Definitely, definitely. My husband is the introvert, so we really do kind of balance ourselves out in our marriage. Like I said, I feel like I do have a big heart, but What's not true about this assumption is I don't have a lot of friends. I have a very select core group of friends. I'm very picky on who I choose to let into my life as a friend, and I need to be able to trust and depend on those people. So I have a very small group of friends, but I feel like my small group is mighty. I assume you drive a BMW. This is correct. And I assume that you've seen my logo in my car in my videos. I assume you hide your shopping receipts from your husband. That's funny. So this is not true because I actually do our bills. I pay our bills. I manage the household because I'm the one that actually works from home. So it's easier for me. And again, I like to be in charge or in control of the finances. My husband doesn't have a clue. I always say if I died tomorrow, he wouldn't even know who to pay our house payment to. So I don't have to hide receipts from him. He never ever questions questions how much I spend or what I buy so I feel really fortunate in that area and I do the same for him I don't question what he spends or what he buys you're tough on the outside but soft on the inside this is also very true I tend to let things really bother me and that was one thing I struggled with coming on to YouTube was the negativity both from the WW community because it can be very toxic as well as negative comments and things from subscribers but as time has went on I've developed a much thicker skin to these things and I I always try to remind myself that I do YouTube for you guys, not for the people who have nothing better to do than leave mean comments or other creators who dislike me. I assume you're a sucker for Hallmark movies. 
Not true. I don't know the last time I've watched a Hallmark movie. Now I thought about watching a few over Christmas, but just never got around to it. You're super organized. Yes, yes, and yes. I am very organized. It's part of the type A personality that I have. I'm a list maker. I'm an organizer. I like things in their place and things tidy and cleaned up. I assume you love to dance. Not true. Despite that I go to jazzercise, I've never been a dancer. And actually that is one of the things that almost prevented me from going to jazzercise. I was given a free week at my WW workshop from someone who went to jazzercise, who's now one of my really good friends. And I almost didn't go because I don't like to dance. I don't feel like I have a lot of rhythm, but once you go to jazzercise and it was a struggle in the beginning and I learned the moves and the routines, now I feel like not only have I found a workout I love, but my dance skills have improved as well. I assume you're a force to be reckoned with. Yes and no. I will fight to the bitter end for things I believe in and for people that matter to me, but on the day to day or just in life in general, I'm not really an aggressive person. I don't dislike confrontation, but I always pick and choose what confrontation I decide to engage in. I assume you are not a doormat with a take charge personality. Yes, I'm definitely not a doormat. Like I said, I will fight to the bitter end for what I believe in and for people that I love. And I definitely have a take charge personality. I actually can't admit because I'm very, very self-aware that I definitely have a controlling personality. I like to control my environment and the things around me. And I'm very blessed that my husband just lets me do that. And he never really says a whole lot. He doesn't ever really come at me when I'm trying to control situations. It's just ingrained in who I am. It's my personality. So I would say that I'm very take charge with a little bit of controlling on the back end. I assume you're not done with your ink collection. So she's referring to tattoos. So this is true and not true. I would actually like to finish my half sleeve here on this arm and I would like to get a tattoo for Diesel and Lola. And then I do have a tattoo on my right ankle for my dad who passed away in 2013. And when my mom passes away, I'll definitely get something in remembrance of her. So I would say that I'm not done with my ink collection but I'm not looking to get any other tattoos anytime soon. This one's actually pretty funny. You make room for Diesel and Lola in bed and your husband gets whatever's left. This is 100% true. But the funny thing about this is my husband and I are both in agreement to this. So generally I go to bed before him. So of course both dogs sleep with us. Diesel gets down midnight because he gets hot, but Lola is by our side all night. They will take his entire side of the bed, but he's so sweet when he comes to bed, he just moves them over and then he just takes whatever's left. And I will tell you, I do the same. If they're in bed, I try not to disturb them as ridiculous as that is. And I just take whatever bed is left. So at least we agree on this. And at least we both like to have the dog sleep with us. I assume you won't leave home without your face on. Not true. I actually leave the house a lot without makeup, especially during quarantine, because we all know that when you have makeup on and you wear a mask, it just takes your makeup off anyways. So I would say that most of the time I do have some sort of makeup on, but oh, let me tell you, there have been plenty of times that I've left the house without makeup, in my pajamas, in my slippers. So I definitely don't have to have makeup on to leave the house. This next assumption I got a few times and that is that I am Italian. That is not correct. I'm actually almost 100% German. Maybe that's where all my stubbornness comes from. Anyways, I'm almost 100% percent German, which is a teeny tiny bit of Indian. I, for some reason, got blessed with just having a little bit darker skin tone. My assumption is you will not be continuing to do WW in the future. This, I don't know. I've said time and time again that if I ever veered away from WW, it would be to strictly count calories and macros because I've also said several times that the only way to lose weight is calories in, calories out. So I don't know if that'll happen. I don't have any plans right now of leaving WW, but I don't really know what the future holds. I assume that you are quick witted. I'm going to say this is true, not because I think this about myself. When I was working in the human resources field, I would get this a lot from my peers and from my bosses that I'm quick witted. So I'm gonna agree with this, even though I wouldn't necessarily say that about myself. The next assumption is you are not well liked by your peers. So I tried to clarify what peers this person was talking about and they never responded to my comment. No surprise. But I'm assuming when she says peers, she means other YouTubers. I would 
would say that this is correct. A lot of the other YouTubers in the WW community, not in YouTube in general, but in the WW community don't like me for one reason or another. I know that disliking someone who's a peer who does the same type of work as you can stem from jealousy. Sometimes it's just clickiness. Sometimes it's just being a hater. To be honest, it really doesn't matter to me because like I've said time and time again, I do YouTube for you guys to help you guys to support you because I love it. It doesn't really matter to me if other Weight Watcher YouTubers like or don't like me. And then someone commented on that assumption and said, I assume that you're well liked by your peers. Like I said, I don't really know. There are a handful of people who don't like me and then there's a larger handful of other YouTubers that I do have relationships with. I assume on occasion you may have a cigarette or a cigar. This is a funny assumption. The truth is no, but I did used to smoke cigarettes several, several years ago, at least 15 years ago. I went on this about three or four year stint where I smoked cigarettes. Then I literally quit cold turkey and I've never looked back and now I would never, ever, ever smoke again. That was all the assumptions from my Facebook group and now we have a few over on Instagram. The first one is, I assume you never just sit, chill, and watch Netflix. So I addressed this a little bit earlier, but I do like to relax and sit and chill. I don't have Netflix, but at night after dinner, I like to watch a little bit of TV before bed, but I find myself always doing something else, whether that's scrolling on my phone or on my laptop I really need to get better about just watching TV and relaxing I did receive another assumption about not leaving the house without makeup which we talked about next one is I assume that you are the boss so I would say that this is true in my careers I've always been in some type of authority position I've always been an HR manager or I've owned my own business and I would say that in my household I'm definitely the boss in a sense only because I manage a lot of the household things. But I always consult with my husband. We make decisions mutually, but overall I would say that this is true. I assume you secretly like to party and be wild. Not true. I have never ever been a partier. Literally myself and my best friend at the time were the only sober people at our senior keg in high school. I've never been a partier. I've always been an early to bed, early to rise. I've never been a drinker. I've never done drugs. I've just been pretty straight and narrow most of my life. And the last assumption is you want to have kids. This is actually incorrect. Both my husband and myself have been married before. In our previous relationships, there was discussion about having children. My first husband and I, I was pretty young when we got married. We talked about having kids, but it seems like every relationship I've been in, we've always been content and happy with our life the way that it is without children. Now, don't get me wrong. I love kids. I love other people's kids. I wouldn't be opposed to adopting, but my husband does not want to adopt a child. He feels that at this point in our life, we're pretty settled into our day to day and our routine, that it just wouldn't make sense for us to bring an adopted child into the mix. And as far as having a child, we're too old. We're both in our mid forties and it's just really not in the cards for us. That's why we have dogs. And I would just like to continue to grow my family of dog children. So that's everything that I have for you. Those are all of the assumptions about me that you shared on both my Facebook groups and Instagram. So thank you to everybody who left an assumption. It was super fun to film this video. I think I would definitely do another one of these. I've also been asked to do another Q and A. So that is on my radar as well in 2021. So if you enjoyed this assumptions about me video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're not part of my community here on YouTube, I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button. And of course the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever I upload, don't forget to check out the description box for the 2021 calendar. Trust me, you want to get your hands on one of these and it makes a great gift. If you have a friend or a family member on a healthy journey as well, pick them up one too, because they're affordable. And again, a game changer for the new year, nutrition, coaching links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to join us over on Facebook. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.